Hello Quilt Artisans, my name is Shonda and welcome to my channel Under the Needle Quilting and Crafts. Um, I did not get to make a video yesterday for Thankful Thursday. I was in retreat and um, I'm going to do a full retreat video tomorrow. I'm not going to really talk about it today. Um, but by the time I got out of retreat, I was not in any position to be making a video. Um, but yesterday, my so sampler came. And I normally make my sew sampler unboxing video the day that the package comes, but I couldn't even do this. I couldn't even do the unboxing yesterday. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. And um, like I said, I'll do a whole retreat video. Um, it was a good time. I just got out of retreat. Um, the world kind of pauses during that time. So, um, so I want to open this sew sampler box. This box is $29.95. It is curated by Fat Quarter Shop. Of course, there is tax and shipping added to that. This is what our box looks like. Spring Memories, March 2024. Let's see what's in here. I'm actually quite hopeful. Um, uh, no. Oh, maybe. Um, so let's see what we're getting. Okay. Uh, wasn't what I was hoping for, but that's okay. I was hoping for a specific fabric line. I forgot what it's called. Don't ask me. But there was a specific fabric line that I knew if I was going to get it, it was probably going to be in a fat quarter shop box. They're still next month, though, so we'll see. Um, I think it's called Evermore by Art Gallery Fabrics. I was... Um, and we don't normally get art gallery, so I don't know why, but every once in a while they surprise us. So, anywho, let's see what we've got. We have got, so this is a foundation piecing water pen. It says always expect more.com. So this is Carolina Moore. Um, definitely have gotten products from her before. Um, I don't really understand what this is. I'm imagining that this is for people who do foundation paper piecing um, and need to use the water and the and the little tweezers to get the paper off, I would guess. Um, <laughs> I don't know because I don't do that kind of work. And I'm not I've never seen this product. So let's let's see if there's more information here. Okay, foundation piecing just got easier with the help of this water pen and tweezer set by Carolina Moore. I've always expect more. Fill the pen's refillable reservoir with water, then run the brush tip along your seam lines. The water loosens the paper fibers to easily tear up your papers. The pointed tweezers are perfect for pulling papers at seam intersections and can be also used as stilettos to boot. Okay. Uh... I can tell you I, what I'm going to use this for um, right now. I use this for my best press. I couldn't find it a while back, but I found it. But I use this for my best press. Um, sometimes it's empty right now because I only, it, it can leak sometimes or it can start to evaporate over time. But I will put my best press on here and then when I need to press a seam like flatten to the gods, I will put best, best, press, best press in here, and then I will use this little paintbrush tip here. This is basically just a water pen, and I will paint this on, paint the best press on the seam, and then I will squash that down. Or if it's just, if it's a seam line that's difficult to press out, like a um, like your bolt fold or something like that, I will use this pen for that. Um, but I can also use this, and I also have the acorn pen. This is very similar to the acorn pen, except it looks like it probably holds more fluid. Um, so I'd probably rather use this than the acorn pen. And we got the acorn pen in Fat Quarter Shop, in a Fat Quarter Shop box not too long ago. Um, and it's basically just an acorn precision piecing pen. And here's the solution. And I don't know where my pen is. But basically the pen is very similar to this. Um, but it just looks like to me this might hold a little bit more fluid than the acorn pen. I don't know where my acorn pen is. Right? It's probably mixed in with all of my pens and I just can't see it right now. 
So that's number one. That's our first thing there. And of course, if we have that, you know, it's not surprised to see this. We've got some half square triangle paper. We've got some triangles in a roll for three inch finished. Um, is that the size we have before? Uh, the size we got before was two inch finished. So now I have three inch finished and two inch fi finished. I don't really use triangle paper a lot um, because A, I don't really care about precision. Um, I don't really care. And B, um, I mean, I care to some degree. Like I care a little bit. I want things to be as nice as they can be. But I just, I'm not really going for perfect here. Um, because the time that it takes to get perfect would take the fun out of it for me. So, and then we have our pattern, spring flags. This is actually kind of cute. I don't think I would make an entire quilt. I'm already making a 4th of July table runner though, and I've already cut it out. So I kind of wish I had seen, gotten this pattern. Well, this is not really 4th of July flags anyway, but, but if I had gotten this pattern before I had done all the cutting, I might have cut this out and made a table runner, you know, just had these three flag blocks and this one pin built, pinwheel block and just had me a little table runner um, using the fat quarters that I have because I've got four fat quarters. So that would have been fun, um, but I've already committed. But maybe in the future, because I do have this fabric. I wouldn't say this is over your over the top Americana, but it's it's Americana ish, right? We've definitely got some red, whites, and blues in there, but we've also got some um, lighter colored blues, and we've got some yellow in there to kind of round things out and make it not quite so beat you over the head, red, white, and blue. And that's, you know, that's kind of my thing. I just, I prefer if it's not like a beat you over the head type of thing. And so I don't, actually don't mind this fabric. It's not my favorite. I never would have purchased this ever. And it, it might show up in a giveaway in the future. It's not bad fabric. It's just not quite my style. But I appreciate the fact that they did Americana without it being like just... I, I'm glad that they had some variation in their red, white, and blue. And we have our 12th block of our block of the month. I cannot believe the new block of the month starts next month. That's crazy. But we have our 12th block, Love in a Mist. And we have our finishing instructions. Very easy finishing instructions. I appreciate that. Truly. Um, I like, you can use this. And the, the thing about, this is just a very universal utilitarian layout. Because you can literally use this for any 12 blocks of the same size. And even if the blocks aren't the same size, you can add coping strips or borders to your block to make them all the same size and use this finishing layout for any 12 blocks that you own. Any 12 blocks. So this is very, this is a very universal finishing uh, setting. Very universal. You can use it for anything. Anything. So like that. Like that. Um, and that is what's in our box. Let me check my... Thing here make sure we've got everything and we do oh I missed something we have a little charm this is cute it's a quilter I can tell you right now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on my purse because right after I make this video I'm going to the store I just don't want to lose it, but I'm gonna put it on my um I'm gonna put it on my little key fob. My zipper pull. My zipper pull, that's what it's called. 
All right, so let's recap. Let's recap what we got. Um, now, this is a solid box. There's nothing in here that I'm, some months, like there's something in here. It might be the pattern. It might be one of the notions. It might be the fabric. But there'd be something in here that I'm like, Ooh. Uh, For me, probably the most exciting thing about this box is the, the setting and uh, the little charm. Th those are the things that excite me the most about this box. This is not a bad, bad box. This is a solid box. It's solid. The value is here. Um, it's just not. It's just not my personal style, right? And like I say, with every block of the month, not every block of the month, with every um, monthly box, you know, there are going to be some that it's like, yes. And then there are going to be some where it's like, I don't know. Like when I do the open gate unboxings, sometimes I'm not, I don't, sometimes I'm not, a, like, I don't, like, I, I love the pattern, but I want to make it in my own fabric, right? But open gate has smaller projects, right? Whereas um, a lot of the fat quarter, fat quarter shop projects, they're a bit larger, right? So the open gate has that really small project every month that's only going to take you a couple hours. It's such a tiny time commitment. And then the larger project generally is still a wall hanging, a table topper. It's still smallish um, because you don't have to source a bunch of background, right? With that quarter shop, they're giving you the prints, but you have to source your own background and you end up making something a lot larger. And so it's just harder to commit to something like that. A larger project um, because this here finishes at 51 and a half by 62 and a half this is a lap size quilt a nice size lap quilt and that's a commitment that's a commitment um, we need two and a quarter yards of background five eighths yards of a border three quarter yards of an accent and binding so I've got to source more fabric so even if I use this the fabric that they gave me I still got to go find more fabric to match it, right? So that's hurdle number one. And then even if I want to use my own fabric, I still have to find matches for the background, for the borders. Whereas when I do open gate, everything is all there. Everything is all there. And if I choose to use my own fabric, that's up to me. But if I choose to make the project, A, it's going to be something smaller and more manageable. And B, um you know, it's easier to source my fabric. I, I don't know. I can't explain it. But, um, and I, I don't know. I just, for me, I know a lot of people love triangle paper. I know a lot of people do. Um, I used it one time to make an entire quilt. I used the Moda the little Moda papers uh, that fit your layer cake, After cake mixes. I use the Moda cake mix. And one of the things, one of the things I struggled with, with that project was that when you're using triangle paper, you can't see your fabric because you're sewing on paper. You're sewing on paper and you can't see your fabric. All you see is white paper. And for me, that just took a lot of the enjoyment out of sewing, not being able to see. So I would much rather do eight at a time triangles, um, half square triangles. My favorite method is four at a time, oversize them, trim them down so they're still perfect and I can still see my fabric and get the joy of seeing my fabric. So I'm just personally not a big fan of triangle paper. Not because it doesn't work, but because when I use it, I lose out on the joy of being able to see the colorful, beautiful fabric that I've chosen. So that's just me, my two cents. But let's recap this box. We have our last spot block, block 12 for our sew along, our quilt along. I have to get cracking on this. I have to get cracking. Um, we have our finishing instructions. Oh, I might as well just put that over there because I'm going to need that. We have our pattern for this month, the spring flags. And this is actually cute. This is actually cute. 
I love how you have the three flags and the pinwheel in each row. It's adorable. It really is. We have our triangle paper for three inch finished triangles. We have our tools from Carolina Moore. Um, and this is our water pen and our little tweezers. Um, I don't see me using the tweezers because I already have so many. Um, and I already have so many stilettos, so I don't I don't really see myself using the tweezers. I don't really have a lot of occasion to use tweezers in general. Um, I mean, on my chin, yeah, and my quilting, not so much. And we have our fabric by Sweetwater. Um, yeah, we have our fabric by Sweetwater. I feel like Sweetwater has another line out that I actually like. I'm usually not a big Sweetwater fan. Um, I'm not, I usually don't gravitate toward their, toward their fabric, but there was a line they came out with that I really liked. It's going to bug me to not remember what it is. I don't know. I couldn't find it. Maybe it wasn't Sweetwater. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. But, anywho. Um, this is nice fabric. Just not really where I go. It's not really my my style. Um, and there are some, there are some Moda lines that I can kind of get with, but... Um, and I think there's more Moda that I like than there is Riley Blake. So of those two, I think that I, there are more Moda designers that I like than there are Riley Blake designers that I like. But <clears throat> I just prefer brighter colors. Um, and this is just a bit more muted. And I'm not really into themed fabric or Americana fabric. So there we have it. That is my unboxing. Oh, what could we have a 20% off. That is bundle coupon. <laughs> and this month they are highlighting their fat eighth fruitcake pattern. And you could always make that pattern instead. You could take them fat eighths. You know, if you don't want to make the flags, then make the fat eighth fruitcake. Do that too. Nothing wrong with that. All right. So um, that is it for me, guys. I am tired. I am ready to lay down and... Um, Tomorrow I will make a video and I will talk about retreat and how that was. I'm definitely going to do it tomorrow because I'm a forgetful person and I don't want to forget any details. And I'm really not good at writing a script for myself. So I think I'll just uh, do it tomorrow while it's still relatively fresh. And um, I will see you guys next video.